Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Let's over to the main screen. Um, hello Raven Legend 466. Um, hello Raven Legend 466. How am I doing? I think I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I am I am a bit tired. It's halfway through the week. Um, it's halfway through the week. And it's I don't know, like the, the air quality here has been so bad. We, we replaced the filters in the house, which has helped a lot. Uh, but it's still to the point where like the I feel like I probably should be trying to get like more sleep um, to counter because like I'm not getting enough good oxygen at night, if that makes sense. But um, Colorado here is not getting very good. Like there's, there's so much smoke in the air. We're getting air quality alerts every single day, and I'm looking out the window. And we have another deep red sunrise, again, which is not a good sign. And uh, I can maybe see clear trees for know, several hundred, several hundred yards before before everything starts getting a little bit easy. Not not good. Not not what we want to see. Hopefully it'll start raining. Maybe put out all those fires. But, um, until then, let's see what is on today's agenda. Ooh, tea is brewing. So I'm uh, I'm switching to a new tea. I ran out of my previous tea. I was using I was um, brewing Earl Grey in the morning, and it's such a fast brew that I could completely finish that before the stream starts. I, uh, I ran out of that yesterday, morning. and so I am now trying this new loose leaf tea that I got uh, that supposedly has even more caffeine than, uh, than, than, than black tea. So I'm looking forward to that. It's so, not yerba mate, that, but it's, uh, it's, it's a close cousin mate, to it. But it's, uh, uh, Ryasa, I think, is, is what it's called. Uh, Ryasa, um, a lot of energy drinks I've noticed um, are actually using it. So I'm just sort of excited to go behind the scenes. What's my favorite tea? I, don't know, I go back and forth. Uh, caffeinated tea, uh, probably Earl Grey. Um, I also like uh, lavender teas, so I've had like lavender uh, Earl Grey in the past, and I was really a big fan of that. And then let's see, what else? Um, oh, chamomile tea, I'm a huge fan of that. And then also I've been, I've been drinking uh, with lunchtime. I've been uh, making myself some um, matcha green tea, which is really nice. Um, I was, so I was experimenting um, I was, with notifications in a Discord channel that we have here, and I did not get an automated Discord uh, bot, and I got one in the Restation Station channel, it came out, so I tried setting up Stream, stream Cord uh, last night. And it claimed that it was working, but it didn't actually send a notification to my channel. So I'll have to figure out what's going on with that. So I'll have to figure out what's going on with that. Um, but that's a that's a later problem. Also, I tried to set up the YouTube bot, and it just didn't. Also, I tried to set up the YouTube bot, and it just didn't. Um, all right. Uh, do I put sugar in my chamomile tea? No, I'm on a I'm on a reduced sugar like a. a as little sugar diet sugar as, like possible. as, as um, sugar um, possible, and uh, Raven Legend, you haven't, you weren't here when it happened. So a year and a half ago, I ended up having an accident and getting a concussion. I had to change my diet completely around to recover. So like no sugar, very few carbs, um, and like it took a little while, but I've I've made a full recovery, and, uh, and I actually think like the diet change really helped. All right, so what's up today? Um, I think let's what's first start by taking a look at what we have in here. So this is work stuff, so I'm gonna look at that later, work stuff. Ooh, right, the snake program. Um, so Lord Mist, um, when Lord Mist uh, uh, comes next, we're going to take a look at his snake game. So I'm gonna take a look open up a link to that. Uh, in the meantime, we have uh, in the this meantime, one. We have this one. 
Okay, so when quitting the app, exit all okay, processes. So app, exit all processes. We're not running any threads in a chat wrapper. We're not running any threads. And it's likely that async away is all you need. It's likely that async away is I think you're still gonna need a channel. Um yeah, so I do have a channel I'm sending to the Twitch chat wrapper. You actually were here before my accident. Uh, you left Twitch to study and we came back and the machine was healthier and thought it was gonna be Oh, uh, it's, oh wow, okay. Um, oh wow, okay. That's uh, that's actually like I, I didn't realize that I had changed that much. I have lost a lot of weight um, during that time, which I think may have helped that. Also, like I feel I have more energy in the morning. Although, although in the morning still like because recently because like the the sleep quality problems, I do like tend to not wake up quite as well anymore. But uh, thank you so much for that. Also, um, I I'm sorry I didn't I didn't remember you from from back then unless you were lurking. But uh, it's it's awesome to have you uh, come back after after that. Also, how is your studies? Also, how is your studies? Uh, okay, so wrapper um, and receiving chat. Messages. Created in the main.rs file. Main.rs file. This. Okay, so. Okay, so. Still figuring out this one. Done with that. Um, oh, interesting. Just clicking into it makes that go away. Just clicking into it makes that go away. So here's Snick. Here's Snick. You can go ahead and prepare this. Go ahead and prepare this. Is there really? Okay. There's no releases to download. Okay. There's no releases to go ahead. Prepare this for when uh, Lord Mist comes. Um, it's going well now. You have even more time to study an extra three hours a day as you got severe sprain. Oh no, this morning. Severe enough that your local doctor couldn't tell whether or not it's a sprain or a break. Oh my gosh. That is terrible. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm sorry about that. Um, I'm sorry about that. I guess you can start looking in Python earlier than expected. I mean, silver lining, I suppose, but a sprain that you can't tell if it's a break, that sounds, that sounds really painful, and I hope that you're, I hope that you recover. I've, um, I've made it so, like, I've injured my, my ankle or, like, my back in a few different times in the past and made it so I couldn't, like, walk around, and it, it's, it's terrible. Uh, it's, like the amount of times that you like, I just take like the amount of time my mobility for granted, and it's like, oh man, I can't like go on a hike, I can't walk to the car, I can't like do any of these other things. It's kind of like really sucks. So I hope that you, uh, I hope that you recover fully and quickly. Could be off for up to twelve weeks, depending upon how fast it goes. Oh my gosh. Well, good good luck for that. Um, Good luck for that. Like, um, I was, like, yeah. I was. I don't think I've ever had something that bad before. I don't think I've ever had uh, something so that bad. Before. Thoughts to you. So, good. Good luck reco you. in recovery. Good. Good luck in recovery. All right. All right. Do so if I go into snack. Do so if I go into snack. All right. Um, I should be able to right. build um, this. I should be able to build this. And then, then it should be ready to go when uh, it should be Lord ready Mist comes. To go when uh, Lord Mist comes. Oh. 
Thanks, now you can spend your time watching your favorite streamer. Thanks, oh. now you can spend your time Thank you if you mean me. Uh, otherwise, Thank still you awesome. You uh, otherwise, still awesome. I love how much I love how fast it goes in this game. I love how much I love how fast it goes in this game. Now in the meantime, now in the well, meantime that's building. let's go back and take a look at uh, our repo. Back and take a look at, uh, our repo. Because we have we have some issues that we can look at here. We have, we have some so issues. Specifically, I'm interested in the 1.0 so release, in the 1 which this is bothering me. I kind of want to change this, change this to 1.0. Okay, so, um, okay, so, um, I'm not exactly sure which one we should work on. I'm not um, exactly sure which one we should work on. There's, there's comments in this one. Is anybody saying that they want to take this? this one. Is anybody saying that they want to take this? We've, we've had chats about it, but we haven't actually we haven't done anything with it. it. So maybe maybe I'll take a look at this because the, so maybe it's also a little bit confusing about like exactly what's happening. Also a bit confusing so about like exactly what's happening. let's go ahead and so create a branch for this one. I'll sign myself. Actually, is there anything maybe before I do that? Is there anything maybe before I do that? Ah, what? I'll go back. Ah, what? Before I do that, is there anything that's not, is there anything that's not help wanted? Those are questions. Wanted. Uh, release the game. That kind of is the last thing I can do. We can do. Okay, all of these have help wanted on here. Um, Raven Legend. Oh, thank you so much for the resubscription. Um, or the subscription at uh, tier one subscription. Oh, I guess it's. I guess it's your first one because it's not telling me. Oh yeah, subscribe for one month at tier one right now. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much for, for the subscription. Um, I have one emote that you can use right now. Um, we haven't figured out another emote yet. I, I have some ideas for it. Um, I'm thinking about um, potentially getting some like Potentially uh, getting some like, like either con taking a photo uh, of Zilby like, or getting somebody to like draw Zilby, Zilby or um, to, maybe like, like Zilby's Zilby. face or something. Um, you can turn that into an emote. That would be pretty pretty nice. nice. Or maybe the heart that we have, like one of the one of the icons inside of um, inside the game could be fun too. Inside of, um, inside the game. Uh, but thank you, thank you, thank you so much. But thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Okay, so all yeah. these essentially are our help wanted. Okay, so, all so I'm gonna go ahead and so I'm gonna go ahead and take this one. Sign myself. That. Uh, we're gonna get Kraken, and this is issue three. This is issue three. So I know that I can set an issue tracker for the Kraken. I keep on forgetting her. I think it's like a board or something like that. I think I have to do it inside of like some. I think there's some other system for me to do that. I think there's some other system So I'll probably deal with that later. So I'll probably deal with that later. I don't necessarily want to like go through all the all the other stuff right now. 
But once I get the issues to things, and then I can create well, um, things, uh, create branches create, directly uh, off of off uh, them for that. So of master is updated. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a branch off of this, and we're gonna call this. Um, this is number three. This is number three. So so exit all processes. Exit exit all processes um, when. Quitting number three. All right, so we've got that locally. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and, and push this up also, so it's visible on on GitHub. I don't have anything like any GitHub actions or any CI/CD for this right now. Um, we don't have any automated tests either, which is you know a no-no in, in open source applications. Um, and I think in like. I haven't yet learned like how to do like games with like test driven development. Uh, it's something I do at work a lot, but uh, that's also like web development stuff, which I'm I'm much more familiar with. Okay, so with that, we can also come back to our VS Code here, and we can start playing around with this. So I think we can start to spend a lot of our time in main.rs. So. First question, did, because I, I yeah, our, our fonts got screwed up again. Well, that's lovely. We need to reinstall our fonts. I need to figure this out. This sucks. I need to figure this out. This sucks. Um, why do I need to consistently reinstall, specifically JetBrain? Yeah, JetBrains is not an available font, but it is installed. Not an available font, but it is installed. What's going on? What's going on? Okay. Um, would you incorporate a loading screen for the game? Um, I haven't thought, um, so thought about it. So something I haven't like figured out also is like the loading screen and like how long it actually takes the assets to load. It seems pretty instant right now. It seems pretty instant right now. I don't know how to like lazy load properly like lazy load with GGEasy or with Rust. With GGEasy or with Rust. Or I guess like right now I am lazy loading. I don't know how to um, I don't know how to preload and like cache them cache them in, but also like tell how long that's taking and then put up a loading screen for that. Uh, I guess like right now I could have like a starting, like a start screen. Yeah, yeah, a start screen might be good. Yeah, yeah, start screen Like press, like press enter to start the game. Um, I think that actually might be a good idea to incorporate into this other issue that we have. Um, good morning, Danny Fritz. Yeah, Times New Roman is back because apparently I need to reinstall the font again every single morning. That that kind of sucks. Every single morning. That kind of sucks. I wonder if I need to like script that or something. I don't know why when I re like restart. I don't know why when I re like restart. Here it is. Match game lag to to stream lag. I think I want to edit this to be a little bit different. I want to. Um, Create a start. Um, create a start. A start splash. A start screen. Um, screen. Um, to give time for. To give. Uh, time for. To give. To account. To account. To give. To account. Count for stream lag. Count for stream lag. There you go. That's nice. A saints have to allow you to change the chat. Uh, the game is connected to. Would be nice. Uh, the game is connected to. Would be nice. Yeah. Oh, to change the chat, the connect, the game is connected oh, to. to chat, right now, it's just that .env file. Right now, it's just that. So you're talking about like a GUI that I can then say like, oh, so I want to now like go to like this other person's like, chat. I want to now go to like this other person's chat. That could be interesting. Uh, so let's see. If I go to. Uh, so let's see. If I go to. Do a 
am I going? What am I doing? Right. We have this terrible font. Right. Uh, and I need to. Uh, and I need to open up downloads. Open up downloads. So here's here's what I'm working. So here's I've got my fonts over here. I've got JetBrains Mono. TTS Mono. Pull you in over here. Pull you in. Yes. Here you install. Yes. Reinstall. Okay. Do that. Okay. Then take you, you and completely you restart you again. You and completely restart you again. Uh, now, let's go to now. You main, and now it works. That now it works. Uh, what's going on? That, uh, what's going um, on? Um, yeah, make it user friendly for someone who doesn't know how to change. Yeah, make it user friendly for someone who doesn't know how to change. That's actually a really good point. Um, it's probably not for like a 1.0 release, but maybe for like a future, a future ad. A future, a future ad. Um, it's actually like a sort of a subset of like create instructions uh, for say like a game like Italy, but it's gonna be big enough that it should be its own issue. So we can create that. So this one is gonna be. So this one is gonna um, be. Um, um, update. Um, uninstall Times New Roman. Is that even um, possible? Uninstall Times New Roman. Is that even possible? Um, I don't think that will actually solve the problem though. Uh, I don't think that will it, uh, solve Windows the itself problem. doesn't think that the font it, uh, is usable Windows after I reboot. So even after I install it, like I can't so search for it, like, um, I can't search the JetBrains um, font the Jet in the font book, which is in the font kind of book, weird. Which is um, okay. So update. Uh, no, create. Um, uh, should I create settings? Um, uh, should I create settings? Uh, setting screen for configuring for configuring. So, um, this will uh, allow people uh, to set up the .me file from within the game. Um, if the, well, I guess like e even if it is there, like they can change the .env file. So from within the game, so in the case, in the game, um, so I think I think that's like, so I think I think that's guess, um, uh, this can be accessible off of the splash of the screen, um, or will auto um, auto load if a movie file is so maybe that would be good. So. Not gonna give it a milestone because it's not part of 1.0. I'm guessing it probably deletes a 1.1 1, 1. 1 milestone. It's really the 1.0 that we care about. It's really the 1.0. Um, labels. We probably want to. Labels. Probably want to discuss it a little bit more to like figure out what we want. Discuss it a little bit more to like figure out what we want. That. Run a separate script where if a user input, uh, a user inputs pop out chat input, link and text uh, box, the app will connect to that stream. The app will connect to that stream. Like OAuth style. Like OAuth style. Yeah, th there's there's that. I don't know how to do OAuth yeah, properly there's, with there's the game like this. Properly, it would be interesting. Like this. It would be interesting. Nobody knows. I think I like the idea of like it just being in the game. GG Easy shows maybe a little bit of its limitations here. Ooh, dang! You found. Why did my fonts disappear when we're starting? We have successfully installed fonts disappearing when we're starting. Here, please follow these steps. 
here. Please follow these steps. Right click on the font file and click properties on the journal right tab next to attributes click advanced. Check encrypt contents to secure data. Uncheck encrypt contents to secure data. Uncheck encrypt contents to secure data. Nobody knows. Huh. So it's up. Huh. So it's up. Hold on, let me see. Also, I kind of interrupted myself. I kind of interrupted myself. Let's see. Would it be the same way you sent your bot to this channel? Um, so the bot that I have to this channel, it's like the bot where I can do like ping like that, can I get this bot? That's actually hard coded with the .env file in the very same way that I did this game. So it's all it's, all it is is that like I just need to create that .env file somehow. So probably. Probably I need to tell. Uh, I need to get like that information and then write it out to a file. And then probably do something like restart the game or like re reload that the that .env file. Um, but I think I think that would work. But I think I think that would work. Yeah, that that should work just fine. I guess when you create it, you also store it in the memory right then. So I guess that would be fine. You also store it in the memory right then. So that would be fine. All right. So with this, let's go to. All right. So with this, let's go to. All right. So I need to go to Windows Box. So I need to go to Windows Box. Where's Windows? Windows, Windows, fonts, fonts, there's a lot of fonts here. Oh, it opens up like some weird, oh, it opens up like some weird, okay. so it open up, fine, so it open up, over here, over here, over here, yes. Uh, yeah, so this is not the normal, like, uh, explorer yeah, so window that I was expecting. Like, explorer, uh, like, everything is different about it because it knows that this is a font like stuff. Everything is different about Interesting. it because it knows that this is a font um, okay, so I need to search. Um, okay, so I need to search. Find or reinstall the font in question. Find or reinstall the font um, Right click on the font file. So in this case, um, okay, so right I need to search font fonts. File, so this, this is going to be, um, Jet. This is going to be, um, Jet. Jet brings mono. Right click you. Right click you. Properties. Properties. There's no properties. There's no properties. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Well, that's interesting. Ah, no. I want you. There, yes. There, yes. Uh, try holding shift and right clicking. Okay, uh, shift, shift, right click. Right click. Okay, shift, no, right click. Okay, can I, there, if I click this, there's editable. If I click this, there's editable. No idea then? Yeah. Um, font settings. Wait, if I right click you? Oh, wait, what? Okay, so I can't search for it. Okay, so I have to just find it in this list. And then I can right click it and hit. Okay, that, that seems like a terrible UI. JetBrain spawns here. Oh, wait, so some of these have properties I can do. And JetBrain's mono does not have properties. And JetBrain's mono does not. Um, uh, what? <laughs> what? Okay, so if I open you, oh, do I have to do this? Open you, oh, do I have to do this? Oh, okay, so properties for all these 14 files. Properties for all these 14 files. Yeah, it was a meta. Um, okay, so. Yeah, it was a meta. Um, okay, so. 
Here is this regular properties. Here is this regular properties. Where was it? It was okay on the gen tab. Next was, attributes, okay, advanced. Advanced. Okay. So, okay. so advanced. Advanced. Uncheck encrypted contents to secure data. It's unchecked. It's unchecked. Font should now remain installed. Okay, it is. It is unchecked. Okay, it is in fact, I can't it even unchecked. check it if I wanted to. In fact, I can't even check it if I wanted to. Uh, do I have to do that for all of these? Yeah, they're. they're it's unchecked. Yeah, they're. they're it's unchecked. Security, this file came from another computer and might Security, be blocked came from another computer to help protect this blocked. computer. Oh, yeah, so do I have to unblock computer. you? Oh, so do I have to unblock you? Maybe Nobody that's the problem? Maybe that's the problem. Do I have to do that for all these? Individually? This panel didn't show up when I like the panel all. didn't show up when I that seems that seems kind of unnecessary. Um, Lord Mist, hello! Yes, we can play your snake game. Um, actually, already got it downloaded and uh, and compiled it in preparation for this. Um, uh, we are trying to get these fonts to not completely uninstall themselves every single night when I turn off the computer. Um, see, the problem isn't in VS Code, uh, Raven Legends, because it, I can't even find the, the font in the font manager after after I boot. Let's just try if we unblock all these. Let's just try if we unblock all these. We'll do this again. Now unblocked. Okay. We'll, we'll try tomorrow and see if tomorrow we have the font. tomorrow and see if tomorrow we have You've never um, had that issue. You can also just drag them into the, 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 the some folder, by the way. Um, they're here in this folder, and they're, they're just like they're folder, there, but they're not like allowed to be like, used. There, oh, it's like, it's weird. To be used. Oh, and on oh, Windows, it's always a good idea to run off oh, and on Windows, every Windows Defender option you can find. Oh, like to turn off. All those like, especially for streaming. All those like processes. Take out everything. Processes. All right, so let's come out, out let's here come. and go to other snick. So here you are. We have snick. Lord Mizd, so you're you're here. Um, is awesome. We can now play this. Um, I assume that we could just do a cargo run. Um, oh, I just did a normal build. I didn't do build for release, but let's go do a cargo run. Um, cool. cool. Now, how do I play? Now, how do I play? Oh. The keyboard type. Oh. The keyboard type. There we go. There we go. Check the README. All instructions. Check the README. I figured it out. Instructions. I figured it out. Um, yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, yeah, this is pretty cool. It's Snick. Um, so yes, it's written in Rust. Um, so yes, it's and then you're using Rust. Piston, right? And then you're using Piston, right? Yep, using Piston. How, did, how is it? 
Um, how do you how do you uh, how do you like Kristen? Um, is this a streamer game? Uh, yay! Um, is this a streamer game? Uh, yay! Uh, yay! Yay! Mukund. Um, uh, good morning. No, this is so. This is not the streamer game. Um, this is so. Lord Mist made this, and we're taking a look at it. And we're taking a look at it. It's been a long time since I played. Snake. Also, apparently I'm terrible at, at the timing of it. Apparently I'm terrible at, at the timing of it. You like it, it's a small amount of abstraction. You like it, it's a small amount of abstraction. Um, so it's probably much harder to use than GG Easy. Interesting. Have you used GG Easy before? Uh, it'd be interesting if you like had a direct comparison. Uh, it'd be interesting if you like had a direct comparison. Uh, feel free to have a look at the code. All right, yeah. Feel free to have a do look that. at the code. All right, yeah. Um, and then, um, and then you've not used GGAZ before. Okay. You've not used GGAZ. Okay, you have wrapping around. Okay, you have wrapping around. And then if I do that, game over, and it ends. All right, and then that's that's the end of that. All right, we, we'll check out the readme. Alright, we'll check out the readme. Is GG more abstract or less? I've used neither. GG is a pretty non abstract. Um, as in, there's a lot of things that we have to program ourselves in GG. So, we create our own abstractions in GG generally. Uh, I don't know Piston. Um, we'll take a look at the readme first. Uh, all right, so move using arrow keys or waz. All right, so move using arrow keys. Pause the game with space. Okay, use X and Y command line arguments to change the size of the game. Use R to restart. Cool. Okay. So R R to restart. So I could do something like cargo run dash X like fifty dash Y fifty dash Y five. To make an interesting game. Uh, interesting game. Uh, two. Uh, it's dash X minus Y. Command line arrows to change the size of the game. Uh, I didn't do that right. Uh, I didn't do that right. Cargo run options arts. Huh. How was I supposed to do that? Huh. How was I supposed to do that? Um, oh, right, the dash dash. I forgot the dash dash. I, I, so, I so rarely use command line arguments. You're right, okay, got it. So here is this, um, our lovely game now in like a very small, um, so we can unpause it and use our arrow keys too. And Killing myself in the small is really hard. Killing myself in the small is really hard. I think I do it where I can like, yeah, there we go. And then R to restart. Yeah, perfect. Oh, and you caught the actual R and not the R key. Oh, and you caught the actual R and not the R key. Yeah, it wraps. Yeah, it wraps. It's nice. Gotta use cargo run. Okay, that's nice. Got that. All right, so let's take a look at the code here. All right, so let's take a look at the code here. Um, so, do, go to source. Um, nice, okay, we have three files, main, live, and logic. So in our main, smart default. Smart, I've not used smart default. I've not used smart default. And I can pause the space. And I can pause the space. Alright, so bring in obviously Snake so we can use that. Bring in obviously Snake. Use like the main library. We're using anyhow for error handling. We're using anyhow for error handling. Open GL graphics. Okay, so Open GL graphics. Interesting. So So Piston doesn't bring that in itself. So Piston doesn't bring that in itself. My kind of snake where you can pause. My kind of snake where you can pause. Your high score on default size is 180. That's pretty good. I can't remember. Was it increasing speed as you got the? Um, was it increasing speed as you got? As you got each each apple. Okay. 
Okay, yeah. So here, like, uh, we have a function yeah, main, so like, return a result. Uh, we have a function main, we return match. Result. Okay, so we're gonna match. Okay, so we're gonna create a new app. Name snake. Name snake. Interesting. Okay, there's an app. Uh, interesting. Okay, there's an app. Oh, okay, and it comes with these arguments that you can oh, add okay. into there. That's pretty cool. These arguments that you can um, add app is coming from Clap. Uh, oh, the command line. From... Yeah, so command oh, so command line applications, yeah, so Clap is used quite so often. So this is actually just is sort of setting up so this is actually just through the command line to get these to get these through the command line to get these to get these. This isn't uh, this isn't um, this isn't, isn't uh, yet. This isn't um, Right with the with default values, okay. Right with the with default values, okay. Okay, you're setting to GL. Okay, you're setting uh, to GL. Version three. Uh, is that the latest version? Three. Is like four out now? Is that the latest version? Is like four out now? Oh, okay. You have U8s oh, as okay. the size. You have U8s um, as the size. Out of out of curiosity, what happens if I go above a U8? Like if I try uh, like 300 by 300 by 300. Number too large to fit in target type. Okay, yeah. Number too large to fit in target type. Get the, get the nice a nice error message here that actually tells us what what is going wrong. That actually tells us what that's nice. Um, uh, Mark 2067, uh, redeemed pet Mark cat. 2067, redeemed pet cat. Um, oh, this is uh, the master is not the latest version. Oh, this is uh, the master is not the latest version. Uh, the cat isn't in the room, uh, Mark. Is in the room, uh, Mark. The cat. If the cat comes into the room, I will definitely get the cat. If the cat comes into the room, I will definitely get um, the cat. So I guess hang on. I have the camera showing at where the um the camera showing the the cat tree. So when he comes in, he often will like hang out there or like jump over. But you should see him. Like jump over, but you should see him. Um, is this source in your GitHub? Uh oh, you know what? I need to make sure that GitHub is in our white I do have get up. Okay. I do have get up. Okay. Um. So this. Um. So this. Right here. Right here. Here's where you can go. Um, find this code if you want to go take a look at it. It's all open source. Oh, you already linked it? Okay. Oh, you already linked it? Okay. You beat me. Um, you beat me. Um, yeah, it, it is interesting to directly open up, yeah, interact with OpenGL instead of abstraction through through piston. So I wonder if like that means there's less uh, less abstractions um, than GG has. Um, than GG okay, so we have all this um, glyphs. Um, okay. Oh, this. so you you're bringing in pure sands. Okay. Oh, so you're bringing so you're, in fonts. You're bringing in pure sands. So, so you're loading up all the all the assets so that you're you need. loading up all the all the assets that you need. Where do you store that? Where do you store that? You're in assets. Okay. Oh, and the assets stand okay. outside of this. Oh, and the assets stand outside of this. Oh man, this is so much nicer oh, to be able to just so reach out and grab the assets here. I don't know. Uh, yeah, j that's a. Uh, yeah, j um, that's a. Uh, that is what. That is like a. Um, that is what. Pet peeve. That is like from a. Gigi Easy. Pet peeve. From Gigi Easy. Okay, so here we go. Game new. Okay, so here we go. Game new. And then here we're gonna hand it like the. And then here we're the OpenGL graphics. Like the the size the glyphs. Okay, so game is coming glyphs. from. Okay, so oh, create logic game. From, so oh, come here. Logic game. Here we can so say. Come here. We can say. 
for his game. For his game. Okay, here's our, our game struct so we can see, okay. okay our, our oh, we're storing, so we see, okay. the oh, we're storing the geographics. Oh, we're storing the geographics. Snack directly. Okay, app position, Apple. Uh, oh, like, okay, so RNG um, is, is stored. Game size, our state, our glyphs. Game size, our state, our glyphs. Okay, yeah, so then... Oh, you're having to use lifetimes okay, for this. Yeah, so interesting. Oh, you're having to use lifetimes for this. Interesting. Because... With cash. Because... Which needs it. Is that... Uh, it's not showing that it's a, a reference, but it's apparently it needs it. A reference, uh, is your glyph cache uh, another struct that you have? Another struct that you have? Unless it's in like in the main library. Unless it's in like in the main library. Oh it, no, that's part of OpenGL graphics. Interesting. Oh, no, that's part of OpenGL graphics. It's just a struct that takes a lifetime. It isn't a reference. Oh, interesting. I have, I've not seen that before as a um, non-reference that needs a lifetime. You um, I create the, open, the growth cache in main and pass it to game view. Yeah, we can see that here. It just, yeah, it's interesting that it takes a lifetime, but it's also not a reference. It, they must be doing something behind the scenes. They must be doing something behind the scenes. All right, so we just go ahead and create all of our randoms. All right, so we just go ahead and create all of our randoms. Default, default. What? Default, default. What? Uh, I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing... Where's default from? Where's default from? Do you have a default? I might not seeing it show up down here. Sometimes like when I select something like this, usually like where these are like now highlighted, I can see them on the side window so I can see those. Uh, and then quickly like go to where they are. So is there a default struct? Or are you implementing default? Or are you implementing default? Oh, you have test. That's nice. Oh, yeah, dire okay, so direction adds. Yeah, okay, so direction Default is just from the standard light. Okay, so it's the trait. Default is just from the standard light. Okay, so it's the trait. Yeah, don't you have to set, like, what that default is? Yeah, don't you have to set, like, what that default is? It's like, do you have to implement default for it yourself? Do you have to implement default for it yourself? Oh, you derive default. Oh, you derive huh, I wonder what its choices are. Like for a UA, does that mean it's zeros? Like for a UA, does that mean it's zeros? So that means up here we probably... No, I don't see a derive for it. No, I don't see a derive for it. Zero for UA, okay. So it decides... Zero for UA, okay. It decides to struck with type inference. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I have never I've never tried that before. Yeah, I have never... I should play around with default. I should play around with default. Game doesn't have default. Game doesn't oh, have it's these default. other ones that have default. So like, yeah, okay. It's like snack has default default. That default default. That's that's interesting. That's interesting. Default default. I guess like it figures out what snack default, is. Default. I guess like it figures uh, out what snack, snack is, is snack. And so then you uh, derive snack default is snack. in so in snack in in snack. Um. Here, smart default. Here. Smart default. Interesting. Okay, so smart default is different than okay, default. So default. I think smart default is what you pulled in, right? Default. It was one of the the crazy pulled in up here. The crazy pulled in up here. Am I wrong about that? Am I wrong about that? I must be wrong about that. I swear I saw it. Oh, it was in Maine. That's where it was. Oh, it was in Maine. That's where it was. 
There it is. Smart default with macro use. Okay, so it's a macro that's available now throughout the entire the entire program. Okay, that's really cool. So we come here, we create our new game. We come here, we create our new game. Pass it into the graphics, pass it into the size, the glyphs. Um, for the events, um, for the events, okay, so we create new event settings, okay, so event settings event also settings. come, yeah, from Tiston, that makes sense. Also come, yeah, like, from they, they should handle, like, at least that, right? They, they should um, handle, like, at least that, Okay, so, um, you're gonna loop through here, which so they're gonna return an option for you. You can get your events. You can get your events. Next, oh, I should turn this on in case you want to highlight something. Next, oh, I should turn this on in case you want to highlight something. Next. Um, okay, so you have your window, which then you can probably draw to using that. Um, okay, so render, update, render, and update button art. Oh, the, okay, so this is this is where you're like actually getting the key press buttons. This is where you're like actually getting the key press buttons. Interesting. Are there more of these things that you can add in? Are there more or is is like pretty much this it because or this is, looks is like, like most of what you need for, for everything like render update so like draw update and input like handle input and input like handle input and then we can come out here we can see okay our game is coming from this game new um, game uh, oh, in your main library, you just have this macro. Okay, so you've created a macro called linked list. I have not created macros yet. I have not created macros yet. Okay, so you use standard collections linked list. Okay, so you use standard collections linked list. So I'm not sure how that, like, is this... I'm not, sure I'm not sure how how this, macros work with this. Sure I haven't how, created how them yet. Macros work with this. I haven't created them yet. Okay, so you create a new link list, and then you basically push an element into it and returning the link list. Into it. Is that how I'm how I'm seeing? And is that how I'm how I'm seeing? And can you also take a link list and, and push it into it too, or is it just creating a new? Looks like it's creating a new one, right? Uh, linked list is just like the VEC macro, but for a linked uh, list. list. Okay, so it's it's creating a new linked list that you could potentially add into it, uh, or just have it empty by default. And then you can start pushing it. Interesting. And then this is wrapping around linked list uh, coming in from coming in standard collections linked list. So standard collections linked list. Basically, it's a wrapper to create it. It's a yeah, you can give the macro multiple arguments. Yeah, you can give the macro Probably multiple through arguments. Probably through here. Probably through here. Interesting, yeah. I've heard like how powerful yeah. macros I've are. I've used like, them. I've just never created them myself. Are. I've used them. All right, so then back to our logic. So we have right, our. So back to our logic. Um, so we have our. Let's see, what else do we have here? So we have our game state that we're tracking. So lost so running game state pause. We're tracking. So lost running. Um, we have our, our direction, um, we have our, all the our different direction. directions that we can go. All the different directions that we can go. Um, oh, Glyph Cache stores a reference um, to the font. Oh, okay, that's why it needs the lifetime of it. Okay, that's why it needs the lifetime That's why it needs lifetime of it. It's drawing a reference to the font. That's why it needs lifetime of it. It's drawing a reference to the font. Okay, try from okay, E4. Try from E4. Okay, so... Well, we have this enum direction, we also we implement on it to give ourselves some uh, some functionality. So we have like move position. So we take in the distance. Oh, the distance that we're moving. Oh, the distance that we're moving. Our x position and our y position. Oh, and these become mutable references. So these can just update our positions up here. Our positions up here. Yeah, and then we just handle our up, down, left, and right. Yeah, and then we just where, our up, down, left, and right. Where, like this. Overflowing sub. I don't think I've used this before. Overflowing sub. I don't think I've used this before. 
Does that mean, okay, so if it overflows, does that mean okay, go back so to zero? Overflows, like just become this? Zero. The overflowing add and overflowing sub is basically a way of adding an IE to a UA. Oh, interesting. I've never tried that before. Uh, I, it's another one of those things, like, haven't even thought of, like, how do we even thought of doing that? I've always just tried to convert it myself. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, so that we're moving to position, then okay, so try from. Position, then okay, so we're implementing try from so that it, we can so do the it, into, can I think, the somewhere into, else. Into, I think. Somewhere else. Yeah, so we're getting like our value. Yeah, so we're getting like our value that's come up. That's come up. Yeah, when you cast something like an i8 that's yeah, negative one like uh, to a u8, which would uh, you know UA, could be zero, you get a big number, and when you add that zero. to a u8 with an overflow, then essentially subtracts it. Overflowing sub add returns a tuple of the result and, and a boolean representing whether or not overflow would happen. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, there are a lot of integer types in Rust. Yeah, there are but that really, that really, um, but that really that really reflects um reflects the integer types that you see like actually at the low level. Like there are that many integer types in JavaScript too, but JavaScript uh, abstracts them so you only have access to one of them through their number API. But then behind the scenes, there's still that many integer types. There's still that many integer types. Okay, so Okay, um, so we're doing try from so we can basically take uh, in the key try from, so we can and match on that and turn it into and the direction that, that, into that we really want it to be. The direction that we really want it to be. Implement not for a direction. Implement not for a direction. Interesting. So it's the oh, it's the up, op the opposite so of it. So you can find out whether or not they're trying to like go backwards like into themselves. Go backwards like into themselves. Pretty sure is just always use some custom made huge integer with Zayama. He allocates Python definitely does that. I know that, well, with JavaScript it's a little bit weird because there's the, like, whichever compiler you're using. So in V8 engine, like Node.js or, or Chromium, uh, behind the scenes there's a lot of C++ stuff happening. Behind the scenes there's a lot of C++ stuff happening. It's actually like transpiling or like compiling to C++. Um, live, it's um, kind of weird. Live, um, weird. And in that case, it definitely has access to a lot of number types. Definitely has access to at that level. But at the programming level, we don't. But at the programming level, we don't. I don't know about the other the other JavaScript compilers. Like Mozilla has. Like Mozilla has. Oh, I forgot the name of theirs. It's like a weird, a weird name. It's like a weird. Um, I've never used it. Um, I've never used it. Okay, so basically, not is just returning the exact opposite, and it's also a trait. And it's also a trait. That's nice. JS numbers are always guaranteed to act as a float, JS but the JIT, uh, the just-in-time compiler, might do other things if it thinks it can compiler. speed it up. Right. Do other things and it it that's like, that's right. the side effect and of having that's like, a billion different uh, compilers for it. Because like you have, um, you have like Mozilla you have, with their compiler, you yeah, have Mozilla Microsoft, well, their compiler, you have Microsoft, their compiler Microsoft, well, they kind of got rid of it now that now that Edge is now really that, Chrome, now that um, you have really Chromium compiler, um, you have uh, Chromium compiler, which is also the same thing as Node. Which I guess now that just means there's really two massive. Oh, well, there's there's Safari then. Safari has their own. Safari has their own. 
Okay, so then we're we're back to the game. So we're starting this. Okay, so we're, we're we have a new game, game where we're like setting that up. We have our render method, so we saw that render was actually running as part of that sort of game loop that's going around and around. And so it looks like it's um it's hitting this game loop as fast as possible. I think. Um, I didn't see anything in a game loop to sort of limit our frames per second. Or separate out the render, like rendering from um, like the rest of the logic. From, um, uh, okay, so basically we're grabbing out all the interesting uh, things from self here from self into their own variables. Then just reaching straight into um, GL to draw out to the viewport. So clear out the graphics. And then you get to start making rectangles. And then you get to start making um, and start putting down what you want. Um, and nice, nice. Down what you want. Transforming nice, it to nice. the right location too. Transforming it to the right location too. Um, okay, then you're then you're render uh, right. So you're okay, rendering all you're, the different things. Right. So you're rendering all. So the tell the snake to render. You're rendering the apple directly render. like this, but I guess that's because it can change. Directly like this, but I guess that's because same goes for update too, yeah. Same goes for update too, yeah. Um, you think OpenGL dispatches a render event 60 times per second. Oh, so you're like you're limited to 60 frames per second? Oh, so you're like you're limited to 60 frames per second. Interesting. Interesting. An event waits until a new event comes up. Okay, so it doesn't run every frame. Okay, so it doesn't run every frame. Graphics, okay, so then you're, pla the you're, graphics, you're, you're placing out your text, your, your, your interface for that. Your text, your text, nice. Your for that. It's nice. It may do them faster than that. Okay. It may do them is there a way for you okay. to like draw out is the frames for a second? It would be, like, 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 be interesting to see like what what we're getting. It would be interesting to see like what we're getting. Um, like I know I can get like out of context in like GGZ, I, I can get, get the like, frames per second averaged GGZ, across the last 200 frames, and then I can like create something and like print it out. And then I can like create something. And sort of like, see, ooh, where am, where are we at? Like, what are we looking at? Where are we at? What are we looking at? Okay, so then we match. Um, okay, so, so when we, we match, okay, so uh, then so the score, okay, so uh, put over so game over, over, but that's. Uh, if we're in a lost state, if we're in a pause state, we put in pause. Otherwise, we don't do anything. Then we have our update method, and so this is our update method where we're saying, okay, so if we're running, then uh, find out if there's no apple position because it got it. Then randomize apple. So basically, give it a new position. If snake update returns true, gotta randomize the apple again. Okay, so you're returning a, a tuple, bull bull. Okay, so you're returning a, a So you're running tuple. snake updates. So you're running snake updates. Oh, because like here's your here's your potentially oh, true. Like here's your here's your potentially true. Um. Okay. Oh, and you're handling the board size here, so you're running oh, you're sneak updates. And this is off of Snake, so where are we on? And this here. Is off we're of on snake, so we're Game on? still, and so there's, on game still. And so there's, there's Snake down here, I think, right? There's Snake down here, I think, right? Yeah, Snake. So we can see its update yeah, snake. is so where, we're, it's saying, like, okay, is saying, where we're saying, like, okay, apple position, board, board size, I'm going to turn this tuple of the I'm going to turn this tuple of the Um... Oh, what happened, Yak? Um, Nickmund, oh, it um, Nickmund, got timed it, out um, by Nightbot. What happened? Out. What link do you try to do? Um, oh, you try to go to the the box oh, to Let me go ahead and add that in there. Um, first of all, this was the link you're trying to post. This was the link. Um, and second of all, docs.pistonrs is, go ahead and add that into the, go ahead and add that into the, 
Spam protection, thanks. Options. Thanks. Okay, that, that should be better. better. Okay, that, that should be better. Theoretically, we can now post links to docs.piston.rs. All right. Thank you for that, Yank man. Sorry about the um, the auto auto little fan there. All right. So basically, with Snake, when we're updating. Right, so basically, with Snake, when we're updating. Yeah. Okay. So you're tracking if we ate the apple. We're tracking yeah, if we okay, lost. So you're tracking if we ate the apple. We're um, if we lost. Oh, you're tracking the number um, of moves. Oh, you're tracking the number of. If move moves. counter updates per move. Move counter updates per move. Uh, which is 10, okay, so you're updating 10 frames per move. Which is 10, okay, so you're updating 10 frames per move. Okay, so you're... Okay, so you're... Oh, okay, so then if you if you reach over that, reset the move counter to zero again. Oh, interesting. Reset the move counter to zero again. Oh, interesting. Self direction is... Next direction. First element move forward one and then add that to the front. First element move forward one and then add that to the front. So are you moving forward one pixel at a time? So are you moving forward until you hit the next direction? Until you hit the next or, direction. Or oh no, it's all of the it's all or, of the um Oh no, it's all of the it's all uh, the of the pieces, um, right? Uh, the pieces, right? Like all of the squares behind you. It counts so up one every update, then snake moves counts every ten, ten updates. Update. Oh, okay. So like every ten okay. frames it moves. So like every ten frames it moves. Um, the board size is the tiles. The board size is the tiles. Not the pixels. Oh, interesting. Okay. Not the pixels. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, Yakemoon, yeah, you must head out. You gotta do some work. Thank you for streaming. Um, yeah, absolutely. Thank you for coming, uh, Yakemoon. And uh, look forward to seeing you next time. And have a great day at work. Look forward to seeing you next time. And have a great day at work. So look at the first element, move forward one, and then add that to the front. So are you using a grid system here? Um, does that kind of make sense then, right? If you're, you have a grid, you have like, you move forward one, you're going to move forward one grid point, essentially. Okay, so you have your segments, which is a linked list of all the snake segments. And then your front is... And then your front is... An option. Does that mean the, the, option. because there might not be a snake yet? Because there might not. Oh be a snake right! Yet? Expect snake has no body. Oh right! Yeah. Expect you kind of want a body for your snake. Yeah. You kind of want a body for your snake. And then your move direction, and then distance move direction, one, uh, and, then and then self one. direction. Like which direction? Uh, and then self direction. Like which direction? If the snake is outside the game board, wrap around to the other if side. The okay, so here we're handling a wrap. So basically, we're just checking to see, okay, if move um, that zero is 255. Uh, so based upon that board size limitation of the U8, we know that if we reach 255, we know that move to the left. Move to the left. Um. Interesting, okay. Interesting, okay. Move zero is equal to board size minus one. Move zero is equal to board size. So if I've set the width to be not 255, but like 15, it still handles that. It still, still handles that. that. Hmm. Still handles How does that math work? How does that math work? For this, move that zero. Oh, so this is the X and Y. Oh, so this is the X and Y. So zero is probably the X, and one is probably the Y. Zero is probably the X, and one is probably the Y. Uh, we sub one because the tiles are zero indexed, and the width isn't zero indexed. Oh, okay. Right. Well, I, I guess like it's the number of pixels, right? Well, I, but, yeah, I that's like, okay, that makes sense then, right? But, yeah, so that's sub one. That makes sense now. So sub one. So 
forward size that sets you back to so forward size that sets you back, back to the beginning. Hey, back to the beginning. guess who's here? Hey. Uh, Mark two sixty seven. Who's here? Here, here. Uh, Mark two sixty seven. Kitty cat just came in. Kitty cat just came in. Whoa, whoa. Nobody knows. Kitty cat He loves these little handmade toys that we made for him. Um, I know, so cute. I know, so cute. All right. Um, if you all enter right. with one, you don't get a two by two board after all. Yeah, that's true. Wait, can I? Ooh, does your does your game handle if I like enter a, uh, a one size like board? He's still he's still learning like movement, so he sometimes falls um, off it. But it's a it's like very short cat tree, so it doesn't it doesn't seem to hurt him, which I'm I'm glad about that. I worry sometimes about him like going up high because his coordination is not the best still. And I noticed that like he'll put his his feet on the super edge of the table, oh, like of anything, and not necessarily realize like yeah, you can easily fall off very, you know. And I know cats fall on their feet, but he's still young, so I don't know if it's it's super good even to like land from that far up. It just hangs the board as one size because the, that way the apple the works is that it just keeps randomizing until it finds a free spot. Oh, okay. Probably um, prevent the game from launching. Like just air out and say, no, you must have a, a minimum size. Uh, that's probably like the best way is just to just an error. That's probably like the best way is just to just an error. Um, okay, so... Check if set clays are with itself. Okay, so we lost. We're going to go through all the segments, iterate through that, check to see if any of it, if, if any of these return true, then we're going to get a true into lost. Um, and if uh, move zero is moved. Okay. Ooh, these are moved. Moved is actually. These are moved. Moved is actually. Is that past and next? Is that past and next? You can get that error on any size board if your snake perfectly, perfectly fills the board. Now that's boring. <laughs> now that's boring. Oh, he's exploring the closet behind the green screen. Oh, he's exploring the closet behind the green screen. Um, okay, so then oh, so this is what we're turning here. Eight apple. Oh, so this is what we're turning here. Eight apple. Um, returns true if any part of the snake intersects um, with the apple, so then the it checks slides. The apple, so um, slides. Right, so then here's where we're going to figure out if we... Uh, right, so then here's where we're going to figure out if we... Were we using this up here? Hey, so I'm going to jump up here. Nope, you just want to hang out by my feet? That's fine too. Hang out by my feet? That's fine too. Oh, it could be a win state. Oh, does the snake have this leg snake, snake have, equals the width times height? Yeah, if you do that, then you then you win, right? Because you yeah, if you, do that, then you, you filled, you up, the right? because you filled up the entire board. Interesting. Yeah, that that would be an interesting interesting thing, and it would be so hard to to do in a normal game. Because like with human reaction speeds, but maybe a bot could do that. But maybe a bot. I guess that's a question, Lord Mist. Are you gonna create a bot to I guess play that's a question, Snake? Lord Mist, are you gonna create a bot to know. play Snake? Nobody knows. 
Um, okay, so yeah, we're now just gonna say, okay, uh, if we're now just gonna say getting this, and then we have our test to run these tests. And then we so yeah, it is, like, as you were saying, tests. it's it's yeah, pretty, it's, it's like a like pretty simple, saying, simple pretty, um, like pretty setup simple, for this, and it works really well. I like it. What's your future plans with the game? Like, where, what's, what's your, where are you gonna take it next? What's your, what are you gonna take You'd always win by just going in a circle that covers you always win by just going in the whole that covers board. The whole board. Well, wouldn't you have to do that if, like, well, wouldn't you have this? If, Run this like, again. If I choose something really small. Run this again. If I choose something really small. So if I choose something like five. So if I choose something like five. five. Oh wait, can I not move this? It's too small, I can't grab the, uh, the top. Okay, that's, that's gonna be tough. Okay, that's, that's gonna be tough. Actually, it's gonna be, this is gonna be really hard to win, Actually, it's gonna be, I realize, because really I'm, I'm gonna run into myself. I realize, because I'm gonna run into myself. I would need to slow the game down so that I, I could, I could end really quickly. So that I could, I could end really um, quickly. Um, but yeah, like if I could fill up yeah, the entire like, screen, if I could fill maybe up like the entire screen, remove all of these. Maybe like if I could fill up the entire screen with the snake. If I could fill up the entire um, screen with the snake. I can't just like go go in a circle around that. Like uh, the the x times y. So x uh, times y would basically be every pixel inside too. So like I need to fix. I uh, get all of this plus all of this plus all of this all the way down to the center. No no pixels free. Everyone being taken care of by a snake. Everyone being taken care of by a snake. Blue is the out of bounds area, by the way. You should only see that when the game's window size is less than the minimum set by windows. Oh, interesting. Okay. That might be something. Okay. That might be something. That might be something to like consider not allowing somebody to create a window that small. And like you have some minimal, like you want the score to be displayed here, you want pause to be displayed, you want to be able to like tell that. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious. Um, what's your what? What are you thinking of doing next for the game? What are you thinking of doing next for the game? Uh, but why though? I mean, no, okay, if they make that small of a window. Um, I don't know. Like, I guess, I guess if you don't care, uh, to me it's if you don't care. Um, to me it's part of it's part of design, right? Uh, our users are our users. We we don't necessarily want to give them all the power in the world. Um, because too much power, and they're going to cause like problems for themselves. Because, well, frankly, users cause problems for themselves all the time. Um, and like that's part of design, right? Is and like that's part is limiting what they can do in order to make sure that they have the optimum experience possible. Yeah, and it does take some the power away, but yeah, it also it tries to make sure that we have something that does, sure weird, does crashy weird, crashy things. But yeah, there's an entire argument like about like multiple camps in the, in that area. Um, no plans yet. Cool. Well, like if you end up adding anything to it, like any any cool new gameplay, let me know. I'd be happy to like continue to take a look at it and sort of play around with it. Continue to take a look at it. Like uh, increasing the speed when you get um, when you eat the apple, so it increases the difficulty would be pretty fun. And then I also saw a snake game like way in the past when snake games were like on phones and I was playing that. Um, I noticed that there was a. I noticed that there was a. They would sometimes put barriers, like little mazes for you to go around. Uh, and then the final one would be maybe a bot. And then the final one would be maybe a bot. Something that plays itself. Who is an enemy? Who is an enemy? Um, you got this issue on your repo and you have no idea how they did that. Got ideas? Let's take a look. Pause. Yeah, like with any of these games, there's so many different yeah, like cool things that you can go. So many different. Um, ooh, Remilia, not not you, open this up. Ooh, Remilia, not 
Cool. Okay, so. Oh, you have this. Okay, so you have this blue. You have this. Okay, so you have this blue. Nobody knows. When I change window mode into float, food appear again. Okay, so the food disappeared. Interesting. Yeah, their window is cut off. This isn't. Yeah, their window is, cut is that off. a square? This isn't. Is that a square? Yeah, it's, it's in floating mode. How how do you do floating mode? Yeah, how, how do you get like floating mode on? Yeah, how, how do you get like floating mode on? Um, I don't know anything about that. Um, I don't know anything about that. You can't. Interesting. You can't. Yeah, so like that's. Yeah, so like. Oh, it's a Unix window management thing, so I wouldn't go into that. Here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know off the top of my head. I have to boot it up on my yeah, Windows I system my head. I have to, to take a look at that. System. Um, yeah, press on F. If you're running Linux and you can yeah, recreate that problem. Um, may, maybe you can figure it out. I, I don't know if like re reproducing it is like one thing. Figuring out what the actual problem is is another thing. Figuring out what the actual problem is is another thing. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Um, yeah, that's that's interesting. I don't know how to yeah, that's, that's how to deal with that. I haven't tried cross compiling with um, I haven't tried cross with my with, um, like my games either. So that'll be really interesting to see if like mine works so on Linux. Really I've been building like, the Windows here. On so we'll see well, when so mine come up with that. Um, I mean, it's working here with with um, I mean, it's working here with, uh, with Windows. And if I if I close that and if I close that and open up an Ubuntu shell, I haven't been able to get GG Easy to work through uh, WSL. We'll see whether or not I can get this one to work. We'll see whether or not I can get this one to work. So this is documents code other. Run. My guess is not because I think it's actually. My guess is not because I think it's actually. I think it's just a simple. I think it's just a simple. It's using. Uh, oh. I think you have to use like X11 for for it to run through here. And like going through OpenGL. The um, WSL has like. Problems yeah, with that? Maybe WSL2 will, like, be will be better, and I haven't installed that yet. Yeah, WSL never works with GUI stuff. I, I, I did get WSL working with X11 specifically. But X11 and, and, and um, OpenGL are not the same thing. It's simply missing all the system stuff for Windows, so you, it can't link. Yeah, I guess like if we find, like, if we do X11 specifically, then no. Yeah, here it is. Okay. Yeah, here it is. Wayland status. Okay. XDG runtime. X11 status. X open display failed. X open display failed. I would have to. Like I have this X X launch thing. Like I have this X X launch thing. Um. Um. That I haven't done in a long time. That I haven't done in a long time. Yeah, and that doesn't just like make it work uh, yeah, by magic. Just, like, I think though I have uh, by magic. I have X eyes. Okay, and I don't I don't have like a display. Uh, so, like, okay. Explorer. I, I don't have like a display. So, like, Explorer. So, I do something like that. Here I can get X eyes to open. So like here's X eleven open with X eyes. X eleven. So now if I run yours. Hey. It works. 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 H
works. I can't get GG Easy to work with this. I can't get GG Easy to work with this. Interesting, we're getting errors with libgl. Interesting, we're getting errors No matching with fp configs or visuals found. No matching fp configs or visuals found. Uh, but this is pretty cool. Uh, but this is pretty cool. I can get this working with, um, with WCL1. With, um, with That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Now, I don't know if that means that, like, like really complicated uh, graphic setup will work. But uh, I don't know if sound is gonna work. But, like if you add sound. Like if you add sound. But this is yeah, this is pretty cool. This is yeah, this is pretty cool. And like pausing works. And like pausing. All that stuff works. Restart. All that stuff works. Restart. Ooh. Oh, interesting. Okay, so I have I have oh, the Comex okay, keyboard so on, but in WSL mode, it's uh, WSL it's looking at my keyboard natively. So, keyboard so like when I hit natively. D, which is usually so, like, when I not D, which is usually um, not it still D, moves to the right. Uh, so that's interesting. Right. So that's interesting. That is okay. That is fascinating. That is okay. That is fascinating. Um, all right, so that's pretty cool. We, all right, so it, that's pretty the cool. way you've written it works with X11 the way you've um, by default, with which is nice because now you can run that in a lot more environments. That's pretty cool. All right, Preston, you're building on your system and sort of see if you right, can Preston, you're with that. Your yeah, Pist that that's like, nice. well, I don't know if yeah, you can think, Pist I guess that's Piston that's may be well, able to think, think, but it might be because you ran, um, Piston requires you to like sort of hand it OpenGL just by itself. And that might, that might do it as well. I'm guessing that GGEZ is doing some stuff behind the scenes that, uh, that is making it not compatible with X11. Because like, if I, if I come to mine, like, if I, like if with I the exact same setup that we have, like with the exact same setup that we have, if I go into, um, if I go into uh, Rex builds, Rust workspace, Rust builds, streamer, Rust and we do cargo run. I don't think this works. I don't think this works. But yeah, so the way I got this working is I have this program called um, XWinRC. XWinRC. And I can launch that and basically it starts an X, X server. Then inside of WSL, I have to set display. To be localhost 0.0. .0. To be local host uh, and then I can run like XIs, uh, which is my tester, to like see whether or not, because that's the simplest X11 application that you can run. And that works, that works just fine. And that works, that works. Oh, Twitch crash for you, oh no. Oh, Twitch crash for you, oh no. Yeah, and so then I still have this problem where yeah, we're so we're getting a, a libgl error. We're, we're so a my LibGL stuff error. isn't working. So but yours is just my fine. stuff isn't working. Yours is just fine. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I might have to test yours on my Linux system. Although, Linux don't know if I'm system, running. The right Linux system to like cause that problem. So you, I guess like maybe you can find out what like more more information about it. Yeah, and it's working. Okay, so it's working for you, Preston. Yeah, and it's working. Okay, so it's working for you, Preston. Or maybe not. Or maybe not. Oh, you're also getting the blue. Oh, you're also getting the blue. On the right hand side. On the right hand side. Uh, 
Um, if you want to, if you want to like um, have an easier way of like posting with this, I do have a Discord that we can use to sort of like coordinate this. We can use to sort of like coordinate this. Discord. 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 Um, and I can make sure that we have like a channel. Like I have a programming channel that we can use to like sort of discuss this one. So Danny is guessing that Pistons falls back to so SDL, or a, or, a oh. or a software renderer. Oh. Yeah, that that happens. Um, so yeah, Lord Miz, that happens all the time. Um, so um, it's that entire thing of like, oh, it works on our systems, but not on some other system. And it really sucks because it's really hard to. It really sucks because it's really hard to. It's really hard to like set. To like know what things are supported. That's why that's why Linux is like so rarely officially supported by game devs. Um, because there's just so many different environments. But like Mac and Windows is a lot easier because yeah, there's hardware differences, but like most people have like a very small subset of graphics um, or OpenGL like like, like versions that they're running. And like game engines are usually and like, game like handle that are usually too. like handle that too. Hmm, interesting. Mm, interesting. All right. Well, as I mentioned, so it is it is getting right, to eight thirty well, eight thirty. So. It is, it is getting it's running to the point where I have, um, I think I have some meetings that I have to go to at 9. That's where I usually have to, like, get off soon so I can go prepare for those. Um, it's supposed to be blue outside the board, but the window isn't supposed to be resized. Right, because I don't think I can resize inside the Right, because I don't think I can resize. Go ahead and try that. Like if I try to hit here, I can't. I can't hit that. I can minimize, and that's not causing problems. I move around, like move it off screen or like halfway over. Can't do that. There's no way to force it here. I can't set the size. Can't set the size. It must be a Linux thing. It must be a Linux thing. It must be a Linux with OpenGL or with OpenGL with Piston. The resize hints are only followed if your window manager implements it. Right. Okay. So Linux must be allowing the user, meaning us, to override what's happening behind the scenes. What's happening behind the scenes? Maybe maybe that's what's going on. Maybe maybe that's what's going on. I haven't tried forcing resizes on a GGEZ implementation. A GGEZ implementation. Yeah, do you know exactly what it, what operating system yeah, do you know they're exactly using? What it, what operating they're like maybe they're using. They're like maybe. Using sway. I don't know what sway is. I don't know what sway is. Zorin OS based upon Ubuntu. Okay, so that's a Debian based system. If they're using i3 or something for their window manager, it's going to ignore resize things frequently. Oh, interesting. Also, that top window bar missing is also interesting that top too. Window bar missing is interesting I wonder if that's like. I wonder if that's like. I wonder if there's like a piston pop. So like, if you if we search for a piston. Like, if you if we search for a piston. Do they have um? Do they have um? Is there like a, a problem here? Is there like a, a problem here? Nobody 
can we actually make this into a game engine? Can we actually make this feels into like a, game a little bit of a snarky issue? Feels issue. like a little bit of a snarky There's four pages of issues though, so it might be it might be tough to like find out what this is. Find out what this is. You know what might be interesting? Um, you know what might be interesting? It looks like Zorin um, uses either XFCE or Neurom. I haven't used XFCE myself. I used Gnome a lot. I wonder. I wonder. Okay, so you're using X XFCE. Okay, so you're using XFCE. Here's a question. Um, Here's a question. Do the um, do you get the same problems the, when running some of the examples the of piston? Here. Some of the examples of piston here. Borderless windows. Borderless windows. Uh, link you one you try so theoretically theoretically there's some examples in here there's some examples in here where are the examples okay and piston examples okay and piston examples okay, so we do like cargo run then hello world Where's the hello world? Where's the hello world? Nobody knows. Guess if they're not using this correct. Guess if they're not using this correct. Um. Where is that? Where is that? Where's Hello World in here? Where's Hello World in here? Interesting. I, I'm so used to like an examples folder. I, I'm so used to like an examples folder. Uh, and then you can use like Kurgle Run dash dash example. Uh, and then you can use but like Run dash dash example. That feels but like uh, not not like standard like idiomatic not, rest. Not like standard uh, I don't know where. Uh, we're like where, oh Hello World here. We're like oh, oh hello world all here. these are their examples. Okay. Oh, Got it. So anyways, here is... Got it. So anyways, here is... Here's a link to this. Here's a link to this. Um, they have their examples. Theoretically, we can uh, they have their examples. pull this down. we can pull this down. Uh, go into piston examples. And do like cargo, um, do like cargo, um, do that. Well, I guess like the question is if we get the blue, well, I guess, like, the if we get the blue, if we get the blue in one of these examples, then it's not. It's not, with, with not, with, with it's not a problem with your stuff. It's not a problem with your stuff. But rather it's a problem. But rather it's a problem. It's a problem outside. So like, okay, so here's like the hello world example. Okay, so here's like the hello world. And then we can see that there is these other examples. We can see that there is these other examples here. A cube, for example. So cube dot rs. So cube dot rs. Run cube. Run cube. And, and what? Oh, weird. It's mouse position. Oh, weird. It's mouse position. That's 
kind of weird. That's kind of weird. Oh, it took over my mouse. I can't. I can't like oh, it took over my move mouse. the window I at all. I can't like move the window at all. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, that's annoying. I have to alt, yeah, I have to alt F4 to get out of this one. Yeah, uh, so, uh, so, so I can't like resize that window. That's not the best. Um, that's not the best. Okay, there's like sprite, shape, okay, paint. Like, sprite, shape, paint. But I'm wondering if you get the, um, but I'm wondering if these are all the, um, resizable. These are all resizable. But they're not getting the blue. It's getting weird flashes. Oh cool, that that uh, crashed. Oh cool, that that uh, crashed. You won't get the blue. You're drawing the blue, and it's supposed to be there when the window is resized too much. Oh okay, I didn't notice that. Oh okay, I didn't notice that. Okay okay. Okay okay. Hmm. Then in that case, I'm not sure off the top of my head. Then in that case, but you aren't supposed to be able to resize it. But you aren't supposed to be able to resize it. So yeah, there's something going on, and it, I wonder so if yeah, there's like there's a potential. I wonder if there's like a potential issue, issue with with piston or with OpenGL that's causing it. With OpenGL that's causing it. But besides that, like I'm not, I'm not sure. But besides that, like I'm not, I'm not sure. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know outside of that. I don't know. I don't know. Those things are so hard to debug. Those things are so hard to debug. Anyways. It's 8.42. Anyway, Unfortunately, I'd love to stay and like continue sort of playing around with this. I do have to go, though. Um, so I did show you the Discord link. Um, I do have... I do have... No blue, but yeah, so as... Um, no blue, but yeah, so as... Um, um, as Lord Mist said, uh, he's... Uh, Lord Mist is drawing the blue. He's, uh, Lord Mist is drawing the blue. So therefore, we wouldn't see that outside of there. So therefore, we wouldn't see that outside of there. But maybe we can like make but changes maybe we can, like, to these um, changes these to examples these, uh, to see if we can recreate the problems. Examples. To see if I don't know. The like maybe maybe inside like I don't know. Hello World like, here. Maybe maybe inside like Hello World here. We could say. We could say. Uh, resize false. Like tell it that it's not allowed uh, to resize. False. Like, tell it that it's not allowed to resize. And then see if you still get that problem. And then see if you still get that problem. There is no problem. And then, like, there the last no thing problem. is, you know and what? Then, like, we tried. Thing is, we couldn't figure it out. Tried, Unfortunately, you're on your own because out. you're on a not supported operating on system. A not, um, not officially supported operating um, system. Um, so I can't. System. Um, and so I, I think, feel. like... I've seen plenty of people do that, and I think that may be what we have to do. And I think that may be what we have to do. You closed the issue already? Well, there we go. There's no issue. Everything's fine. There we go. There's no issue. Everything's fine. All right. Anyways, that uh, that game is pretty awesome. If you do make any changes to it or you add new features, let me know, and I'll be happy to, to sort of like continue. I, I'm really excited to sort of see where you go with uh, with this, like either. Um, with this, like either, uh, like, um, either uh, add to this like, or make a new game um, with like everything you've learned and like um, keep on building like up your skills. That will like keep on regardless of which way you go, I'm really excited to sort of see where you go next. But with that, um, I do need to get to get heading out of here. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the end of the screen. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Lord Mist, for showing me the, the the snake game off. It was super fun to sort of look through the source code and uh, and sort of take a look at that. Um, we can raid a toggle bit. Um, yeah, we can we can set that up. Huh, it's not showing on my toggle bit. 
There it is. Yeah, we can start we can start right over there. Um, I won't be able to join you because I've got to jump over to work really quickly. So um, say say hello to Togglebit for me, for everybody, and um, and I hope that you all have a great rest of your day. I will be on again tomorrow morning at uh, at 9, 7 a.m. Mountain Time, um, and we'll stream usually until around 8.30. Um, and with that, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.